Creature of Hangover. Before beginning your adventure, here is a list of what you need. Two die, a timer, an adventure sheet, and a pen or pencil. If you do not have any of the necessary tools needed, digital alternatives will be provided in the description of this video. However, it is recommended you use the physical alternatives where possible, as it allows for a more immersive experience. It is advised to use the provided adventure sheet, but any piece of paper will do. For those unfamiliar with these kind of interactive stories, there is a helpful starter video linked in the card above and in the description. Moving between sections can be done by selecting the chapters at the bottom of the screen or by the timestamps in the description. Roll one die and add six for your initial ability. Half this, round fractions down, for your current ability. Roll one die and add six for your current endurance. Roll one die and add six for your initial and current fate. As you are unarmed and sluggish, winning an attack round in battle causes your opponent only one point of damage. If you choose to roll fate in combat, you deal three points of damage on a successful hit and zero points on a failed one. Your opponents inflict two points as normal. Keep track of your time score, which starts on zero and is measured in minutes. It is recommended that after each section, you pause the video in order to consider your options, conduct combat, or to roll your fate. Now that that's all established, let's begin. Hazy. Something about a quick half down at the crown? Did you have more after that? Where are your trousers? Continue on to section one. One. Ah! You're yanked into horribly bright darkness by repetitive screams from some evil blob of colour close to you. Something hurts. A lot. Possibly your head. The intolerable screams continue, and you sense the blob may attack at any moment. Do you punch the blob? Skip to four. Pat it reassuringly? Skip to 44. Or attempt to flee? Skip to 31. Two. You take the driver's seat and aim to pull away immediately in the hope that the suddenly panicking passengers won't try to pull you away from the seat whilst the bus is moving. This feels like a very, very bad idea indeed. Roll two dice, twice, and compare the result to your ability. If the result is equal or greater either time, skip to 19. Otherwise, skip to 8. 3. The uniformed man is unfazed by your attack and brandishes a rolled up catalogue with alarming dexterity. He has faced many Yorkshire Terriers and lived. You have a tough fight on your hands. Uniformed man. Ability 6. Endurance 6. You may escape at any time by slamming the door, taking one last hit as you do so, and heading for the kitchen, skip to 36, or the living room, skip to 11. If you defeat the man, he crumples down unconscious, dropping a package. Note the word postman on your adventure sheet and skip to 33 to find out what the package contains. 4. The blob is smashed to smithereens and mercifully the screams cease. It appears to have been an alarm clock. Your knuckles hurt, but on the whole you feel that was a good move. Skip to 16. 5. Prove your fate. If you are fortunate, you successfully pull on some clothes. Add 5 minutes to your time. If you are unfortunate, a tightness round your legs and an uncomfortable draft draw your attention to the fact that you've pulled a t-shirt on instead of trousers. You'll have to start over. Add 15 minutes to your time. You stagger out of your room. Will you go straight downstairs? Skip to 23. Or visit the bathroom first? Skip to 43. 6. You scramble to get the roller skates on and lunge to grab onto the back of the bus as it moves sluggishly away from you. There's a sort of bar which you grab onto for dear life. Passengers on the bus are peering at you with amusement and alarm. If you have the words, no pants on your adventure sheet, prove your fate. If you're fortunate, continue listening. Otherwise, skip to 25. Keeping hold is not too difficult, but you are in danger of being battered against the back of the bus or falling and being dragged along the road every time the bus changes direction or speed. Roll two dice five times every time comparing the result with your ability. For each time it is greater, deduct three points from your endurance. If you manage to hold on, skip to 38. 7. You throw up in explosive fashion, 
add 20 minutes to your time as you attempt to clean up. On the plus side, you immediately feel a little bit better with all of that out of you. Recover one ability point. However, you cannot salvage any clothes. Skip to 46. 8. When the bus is within a few streets of your workplace, you simply bring it to a stop and sprint out, leaving the other passengers angry and baffled. Taking a scenic route to the door, in case anyone's watching, you stroll in nonchalantly. The guard seems pleased to see you. Skip to 47. 9. You hand over the money. The driver looks somewhat unhappy with the number of coins, but after a moment's hesitation, presses something, and a piece of paper juts out at you. You take it automatically and loll across a couple of seats until you recognise your work building swing into view. You shuffle in through the door. The guard seems pleased to see you. Skip to 47. 10. You're in time for your normal bus. You trek along to the stop and wait, but you feel uneasy. Can it be this simple? Do you have the word cruel written on your adventure sheet? If so, skip to 18. If you don't, but you do have no pants written down, skip to 39. Otherwise, skip to 26. 11. The living room is empty apart from a TV and a sofa. You can examine these further, skip to 42, or conserve your time and either enter the kitchen, if you haven't done so already, skip to 36, or leave the house via the front door, skip to 27. 12. The puny stairs are no match for your skillful technique. Add 5 to your time score. As you reach the bottom of the stairs, the front doorbell makes a hideous noise. Will you answer it, skip to 21, go to the kitchen, skip to 36, or go to the living room, skip to 11? 13. You open the door, but the uniformed man has partially recovered his wits and scrabbles at your legs as you try to pass. You must try and jump over him. Roll two dice. If the result is less than or equal to your ability, you make it to the road. Skip to 28. Otherwise, he grabs your ankle and you are dragged down to the ground. Lose two endurance points. His catalogue kosh swings at your head once more. Uniformed man. Ability 5. Endurance 3. If you defeat him, skip to 28. 14. You search the kitchen, but it rapidly becomes clear that neither the cupboards nor the fridge have anything remotely edible in them. The only thing resembling food is what appears to be the remains of a kebab on the floor, which is seemingly being eaten by a cat. Will you attempt to take the kebab away from the cat? Skip to 41. If not, you can get yourself a drink if you haven't already done so. Skip to 17. Check out the living room if you haven't already done so skip to 11, or leave via the front door, skip to 27. 15. T definitely helps. Restore two ability points, plus an extra ability point, and two endurance points if you have medicine to wash it down with. Add five minutes to your time score. Now, if you've not done so already, you may search out some food, skip to 14, investigate the living room, skip to 11, or leave via the front door, Skip to 27. 16. You'd better get up. Do you wish to ease yourself slowly out of bed? Skip to 24. Or leap to your feet? Skip to 45. 17. Instinctively, you drink a lot of water and set the kettle to boil. But what to have? Tea? Skip to 15. Or coffee? Skip to 30. 18. You see the bus appearing at the end of the road, but something makes you turn your head and look behind you. To your horror, you see a panther-sized lurid pink cat, resembling that which you killed earlier, padding its way towards you. Surely it's just a hallucination, a guilty conscience and the after-effects of the aftershock and gin mix from last night. But still it comes, and you stagger back. The bus's side mirror smacks you across the back of the head, knocking you out cold. The bus carries on, but your adventure ends here. 19. In a lazy, unconcerned way, the bus rolls onto the kerb and flattens a long length of metal fence before coming to a halt. At this point, you decide that getting into work is the least of your worries and run over some playing fields as fast as your lead and legs will carry you. Perhaps an hour or two hiding from the police in a ditch would be a good move. 
Your adventure ends here. 20. Whoop, 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 whoop. The man burbles, handing you a block-like thing and a tiny stick. Desperate to show willing, you draw a smiley face on the block with the stick. The man seems satisfied by this, taking back the block and stick and handing you a package. Skip to 33 to find out what it contains. 21. The door opens to reveal a uniformed man. He starts speaking to you in some unintelligible language, possibly English. His loud words make your ears hurt. Will you attack him immediately, skip to three, play along, skip to 20, or slam the door and flee to the kitchen, skip to 36, or the living room, skip to 11? 22. Sadly, you realise that you're just too late to get into work today. You have a vague memory that this isn't the first time you've done this, and it's unlikely they'll want you in again. You might as well get some hair of the dog. When does the pub open? Your adventure ends here. 23. You look down the stairs and feel dizzy. How do these things work again? Will you attempt to walk down, skip to 32, or shuffle down on your bum? Skip to 12. 24. Add five minutes to your time. You notice some clothes on the floor. Will you try and get dressed, skip to five, or not bother? Skip to 46. 25. Unfortunately, the sight of a person roller skating behind a bus and flashing their arse to passers-by as their leather poncho floats up in the wind causes someone to contact the police, who happen to have a car on the bus route. You are arrested, and whilst you're happy to be given a pair of trousers, your adventure ends here. 26. The bus door is open and you step on. The driver nods a greeting and says, whoop, 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 whoop. No. What is it he normally wants? If you have some loose change on you and wish to offer it to him, skip to 9. Otherwise, skip to 37. 27. You open the front door and step out into the cold air. If you have the word postman on your adventure sheet, skip to 13. Otherwise, skip to 28. 28. As the fresh air fills your lungs, the fog starts to clear from your mind. You need to get to your job deploying the S.W.O.R.D. program against trolls and hackers who attack the company you work for. You need to catch a bus, but have you already left it too late? Is your time score 40 or less? Skip to 10. Over 40 but under 60? Skip to 29. Or 60 or more? Skip to 22. 29. Your normal bus has been and gone. There are, however, other buses which take a similar route, but which don't stop here and you see one coming in the distance. Do you have a pair of roller skates? If so, skip to six. If not, skip to 22. 30. You need waking up, and coffee will do the job. Restore three ability points, plus an extra ability point and two endurance points if you have medicine to wash it down with. However, the coffee hits home hard. Roll two dice. If the total is less than or equal to your endurance, Add 5 minutes to your time score. If it is greater, add 25 minutes as you clear up the vomit. If you did not throw up, or this is your first time throwing up, you can search out some food if you haven't already done so, skip to 14, check out the living room if you haven't already done so, skip to 11, or leave via the front door, skip to 27. 31. You rush to flee and crash straight into the wall on the other side of your bed. Your head explodes with pain. Lose two endurance points. You fling the blob through your window and it knocks over a cyclist. Skip to 16. 32. Whoa. You roll two dice and deduct three from the result. If the result is less than or equal to your ability, you successfully stagger down without injury. If it is greater, you topple forward and slide down on your face. Deduct four endurance points. As you reach the bottom of the stairs, the front doorbell makes a hideous noise. Will you answer it, skip to 21, go to the kitchen, skip to 36, or go to the living room, skip to 11? 33. You open the package and find some boots with wheels attached. You must have ordered them the night before. You're not sure if you're in the best state to use them, but you better take them just in case they're needed. Now, if you haven't already done so, you may investigate the kitchen, skip to 36, the living room, 
Skip to 11. Or perhaps you're ready to leave. Skip to 28. 34. The driver is only too used to having punch-ups with drunken, hungover people. He draws himself up to his feet and with a menacing air spits out his chewing gum. Bus driver. Ability 7, endurance 9. At any time you may escape without further damage and make use of a set of roller skates if you have them. Skip to 6 or just give up. Skip to 22. If you reduce his endurance to 4 or less, the driver will allow you to bundle him out of the bus. Skip to 2. 35. The troll also attempts to be diplomatic, because it's actually just your reflection in the mirror. You find some medicine in the cupboard, which you may add to your possessions. Now, it's time to tackle the stairs. Skip to 23. 36. You need sustenance. Will you fix yourself a drink first? Skip to 17. Or scavenge for food? Skip to 14. Alternatively, you could investigate the living room. Skip to 11. Or leave the house through the front door. Skip to 27. 37. The driver clearly wants something from you and is not impressed by any offers of medicine or roller skates that you might make. He's now telling you to get off. Will you attempt to hijack the bus? Skip to 34. Get off the bus but attempt to tag along with it on roller skates if you have them. Skip to 6. Or simply get off the bus. Skip to 22. 38. Bruised but in one piece, you let go of the bus when you're near to your work building and roll glumly along to the entrance door. The guard seems pleased to see you and makes no comment on your appearance as you trundle in. Skip to 47. 39. The bus stops and opens its doors, but the driver takes one look at you in your leather poncho and gasps in shock before closing the doors on you again. If you have a set of roller skates, skip to 6. If not, skip to 22. 40. The mirror in which your image was reflected shatters. Deduct 7 points from your fate. You find some medicine in the cupboard which you may add to your possessions. Now, it's time to tackle the stairs. Skip to 23. 41. The cat hisses. It is battle hardened and far more agile than you. Fortunately, it's not that keen on the kebab. Next door's cat. Ability 5, endurance 5. If you reduce the cat's endurance to one point, it will escape through the back door, which is wide open. You, you really should have closed that. If you win, the kebab restores six endurance points. Add five minutes to your time. If you actually kill the cat, write the word cruel on your adventure sheet. Now you can fix yourself a drink if you haven't already done so. Skip to 17. Check out the living room if you haven't already done so. Skip to 11. Or leave via the front door. Skip to 27. 42. Add 10 minutes to your time score. You don't discover anything new about the TV, but you do find a handful of change down the back of the sofa. Note it on your adventure sheet. Now, will you go to the kitchen? Skip to 36. Or leave via the front door? Skip to 27. 43. As you enter the bathroom, the face of a hideous troll looms up at your side. Will you attack it immediately? Skip to 40. Or attempt to parley? Skip to 35. 44. The tough exoskeleton of the creature is cold to the touch. Your caress quickly reassures it, and it falls silent. You doze a little longer, but then it starts all over again. Cursing, you pull the batteries from what appears to be some form of alarming clock. Add 20 to your time score, and skip to 16. 45. You sense you should hurry, but standing up too fast makes you feel violently sick. Roll two dice. If the total is less than or equal to your endurance, you hold it in and can consider whether to get dressed, skip to 5, or not bother, skip to 46. If the total is greater than your endurance, skip to 7. 46. You figure the leather poncho you slept in will do. Make a note of the words, no pants on your adventure sheet. You stagger out of your room. Will you go straight downstairs, skip to 23, or visit the bathroom first? Skip to 43. 47. Your colleagues are absolutely delighted to see you. 
When they hear your tales of how you successfully found your way around the house and negotiated the bus route, they are so impressed that you are immediately put in charge of everything. The job comes with a sack of jewels and unlimited use of a chauffeur-driven car. Your mornings will never be difficult again.